Hi kids, so we saw in the last chapter that Topsy and Bimbo were up to some kind of an adventure which got them into trouble. I hope they're not going to have any more trouble but we'll find out in this chapter which is called Bimbo Gets a Shock. So to begin, Topsy and Bobs, the two dogs, often used to get baths when they were dirty. How they hated that. As soon as Bob saw the bath being dragged out of the shed, he ran away out of the front gate. So Jillian had to catch him first and tie him up and then get the bath out. Topsy didn't know what the bath was at first. When she heard Jillian pulling it out of the shed, clang, 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 she ran to see whatever could be making that noise. Bob's was tied up nearby. He growled at Topsy. It's all because of you that we're going to have this bath, he said. You rolled in the mud this morning and mistress said, Topsy does smell. She must have a bath. So Bob's may as well have one too, though he's not really dirty. I do feel cross with you, Topsy. Why? What's the matter with the bath, said Topsy, surprised. This thing is a bath, isn't it? Well, what harm can it do us? You wait and see, said Bobs. So Topsy waited. And when the bath was filled with water, what a surprise she got. Jillian lifted her up and put her splash into the, ta into the tin bath. And then Imogen soaked her well. Don't wriggle so, said Imogen, or the soap will get into your eyes. But Topsy did wriggle and the soap did get into her eyes, how she howled. Imogen poured some water over her head to get the soap out. Topsy didn't like that either. She didn't like the hot water, she didn't like the soap, she didn't like being wet and she didn't like being rubbed dry. She didn't like anything about the bath at all. Now you see what I mean when I say that baths are horrid, said Bob's trying to pull away from the rope that tied him to a railing nearby. You've had your turn now, mine is coming and I'm not really dirty either. Will Pimbo have this turn after you? asked Topsy, shaking hundreds of drops from her wet coat. Don't do that all over me, said Bobs. I shall have enough water on me in a minute without you wetting me too. Of course, Bimbo can't have a bath, silly. Cats never do. Well, I don't call that fair, said Topsy angrily. Why should dogs have baths when cats never do? I'm sure Bimbo gets just as dirty as I do. Bimbo ran up joyfully when he saw the tin bath steaming in the garden. Ha ha, he mewed. A bath. I see you've had one, Topsy. How did you like it? What dirty creatures dogs must be, always having baths. I'll sit and watch Bob's having his. No, you won't, said Bob's. You just go away. I'm not going to have you sitting here, grinning, whenever I get soap in my eyes. But Bob's had to have his bath with Bimbo sitting there. How that kitten laughed when Bob's yelped that the water was too hot. How he enjoyed it when Bob's whined because he got the soap in his eyes. Topsy, how can you stand there and let Bimbo laugh at me like that? cried Bob's. Chase him away! So Topsy ran at Bimbo. At first, Bimbo just rolled over to play with her. But when he found that Topsy gave him a nip on his tail to make him run, he ran. He wasn't going to have his fine long tail nipped like that. Bimbo tore down the garden Topsy chased after him, yapping at his heels. Bimbo leapt over the wall and disappeared. But Topsy found a hole to squeeze through and soon Bimbo found her after him getting again. The kitten tore back to the wall that ran at the bottom of his own garden and jumped on it. Topsy jumped to see if she could get Bimbo's tail and the kitten leapt down on the other side in a great hurry. Off he went up to the garden again. He ran all around the house with Topsy after him and then jumped up on the roof of the shed. He lost his balance 
and fell. Oh dear me, just under the shed was the tin bath. Jillian had pulled it over there to empty it down the drain. She was just tipping it up and Bimbo fell right into it. Splash! Jillian was so surprised to see Bimbo in the bath. But Bimbo was even more surprised. Oh, water, how horrible, how frightening. Bimbo wants a bath, cried Imogen in delight. He's jumped into the water. Let me soap him. And before poor Bimbo could do anything about it, there was Imogen soaping him for all she was worth. Bimbo wriggled and mewed and the soap went into his eyes. Then how he screamed. Woof, woof, laughed Bobs and Topsy. This is a great joke. Bimbo laughed at us for having a bath and now he's having a bath too. Is the water nice and wet, Bimmy? Is the soap slippery? Are you clean? Bimbo put out his claws and Imogen let go. She didn't want to be scratched. Bimbo jumped out of the water. He mewed and shook himself. Showers of drops flew everywhere. Jillian threw a towel over him and began to rub him dry. But Bimbo did not want to be rubbed and he shot off down the garden with the towel trailing behind. How the dogs laughed. Did you like your bath, Bimbo? They cried. Was it lovely? You won't sit and laugh at us next time, will you? And Bimbo certainly won't. As soon as he sees that tin bath being dragged out of the shed, he's off to the bottom of the next garden. No more baths for Bimbo. <laughs> wow, Bimbo certainly can get into bad books for all his activities he does, doesn't he?